Hello, my name is Giovanni Guizzo, I am with University College London, and today I'm going to present to you Cost Measures Matter for Mutation Testing Study Validity. Well, mutation testing, although very powerful, is still is a costly task. Researchers have tried to solve this problem by selecting fewer mutants for execution, because fewer mutants means less computational cost. However, many papers fall into the wrong assumption that by reducing in X percent the number of mutants, the computational cost is also reduced by X percent. In fact, we found out that 80% of papers on mutant reduction do not report execution time at all, and 72% use the number of mutants as a proxy for cost. In this paper, we show how this can affect scientific results. First, we quantify the error between the measures of number of mutants and execution time. Not only we found out that the average error between the metrics is around 44%, but also that the ranks between the strategies change 37% of the time when considering execution time instead of um, number of mutants. What is more concerning is that this error is greater in larger programs and with more mutants. Lastly, we decided to check how these findings impact scientific conclusions. We produced the seminal work of Ofut et al. from 1996, and this time we measure execution time. So, for 5 out of 10 programs, the rank of strategies change when using the execution cost. As a consequence, an inconclusive scientific finding using the surrogate measure is transformed into an unequivocal finding when using the true execution cost. So, the takeaway message here is always report execution time when trying to reduce the execution cost. Otherwise, your scientific conclusions might be threatened by this. Thanks for watching.